Hi everyone! So, I recently had a rebrand of my social media channels, including my YouTube channel, um, with the help of my 12-year-old son, I'm embarrassed to say. And what I've decided every month to do is, when I buy new craft stash, I'm going to keep it aside and do a video monthly and show you what I've bought. Before I use them, which is going to be hard, so this will be a challenge. So, I'm starting this month with something really boring, which are these um, plastic wallets. Now, they come in a pack of 100. They're just short of, I remember, um, around £6. And they're A4 in size. 120 micron. Open two sides. The idea is that you can fit in an A4 piece of paper. Now, what I'm going to be doing is organising, or hoping to organise my paper stash because at the moment it's very disorganised, it's very unloved, and all the scraps are all, all over the place, which means there's lots of wastage and lots of time spent looking for what I need. So, I'm hoping that this will organise them a little bit better. So, that's the boring one out of the way. Next up, which is really exciting, I was really excited to get these, was the coloured pencils from um, Arteza. Now, every time I try to buy these, they're out of stock, and I was looking for a long, long time, and eventually they came back in stock, and I snapped them up. I was really excited. So these are the 120 count. You can get smaller counts. Um, and I believe they were around the 60, mid-60 mark, £60, £65, something like that. So you get five trays of varying colours. And then I'm going to try and do this really carefully because when I've done this previously, all the pencils have gone everywhere. Okay, success. <laughs> and then at the bottom you've got some metallic colours, which is a really nice surprise. So what I'm hoping to do with these is do some no-line pencil colouring on craft card. Um, I've done pencil colouring on craft card in the past and got some really lovely effects. And I haven't done it again for quite some time. And I've seen some lovely, lovely examples around social media lately of um, craft colouring on craft card using pencils so I'm hoping to be able to do that and get some lovely effects like what I've seen online so that's those next up was craftstash.co.uk I've recently I'm embarrassed to say again is recently discovered alcohol inks now I know I'm behind, but I really enjoyed using them. I used them on white Yupo cardstock and I had some metallics and some alloys and I've seen some really beautiful effects using the alloys and metallics on black cardstock. So I bought some of that. And then also I needed some more paint brushes because I don't look after mine very well and also I needed some with a smaller tip because I use the splattering effect quite a lot or the flicking effect quite a lot on my cards so I needed some smaller tips for that but also I've been using watercolours a lot lately on my cards and needed some some varying tips to get into the details so these were £6.49 from Craft Stash as well Oops. So that's those. Hopefully I'll look after those a little bit better than I look after my current paint brushes. Next up from Clearly Bizotted was the March release bundle. So as part of the release, you get the six stamp sets and if you buy them as a bundle you get them at a reduced price you save a certain percentage but then really kindly what they also do if you buy the bundle is you get a, a little stamp set free of charge 
the stencil free of charge which coordinates with the all round farm fun and then some double sided paper so you get six sheets of six by six papers so you get blue dark blue green yellow orange and red so when you buy the six stamp sets you get the stencil the stamps and the paper for your charge which i think is really generous for the price that you pay so that's those and also from clearly besotted this month i bought this stencil they have a fantastic selection of stencils and fantastic selection uh, fantastic prices so these are going to be great for backgrounds so this is the banneret stencil and then also which gives you really great effects and works fantastically well with the critters that they do is this dare to be square stencil so you don't have to use it all at once you can section off part of it so for example if you're doing an a6 card you can section off this part here um it's very versatile so that's that from clearly besotted so this was quite a considered investment that i decided to treat myself this month and i got these ink cube mini ink cube ink pads from Altenew. now these were from the seven hills crafts and each one comes with four graduating color selections so that it does all the hard work for you of considering which colors of ink pads go with each other when you're coming to make your cards at the moment the only ink pads i use are distress inks and sometimes i'm there for a lifetime trying to decide which colors to use together to get a graduating effect whereas this does all the hard work for you so those like i say were quite a considered purchase but i deserve them so why not so next up now unfortunately i can't remember where i bought these from so i'm really sorry but i did have from we are memory keepers some time ago a hot foil tool and some foil and it was quite simple just to apply the tool over the foil to get a foiling effect on your cards or your project um some of you may know that a couple of years ago i gave up crafting and de-stashed a lot of my stash and i'm quite certain i didn't de-stash the tool and the foils but i can't find them in my collection anywhere so i'm starting from scratch again so but i'm doing it a little bit differently this time so i bought the foils the fab foils these are wow and they were £2.50 each like i say i can't remember unfortunately um but when i find out where i bought them i will put them in the comments below but these were £2.50 each you get one meter times 10 centimeters on each one and then the way this works so i'm new to this would be using bonding powder now i believe you heat up the section you sprinkle powder over wet ink remove excess by tapping sheets heat with a heat tool the powder will melt and raise and it will take a few seconds to solidify so while that's still tacky i believe you add the foil and then you get a really great heat uh, foil effect on your project so i've got to experiment with that and i'm hoping to be able to show you soon what i come up with but i got green pink blush purple red ice blue white which is intriguing dark blue silver copper and teal so that's a new technique that i need to try um, and i'll keep you posted on the results of that 
Then we have... So these from Mum and Elephants. Now these are all little agendas. So we've got the Dino agenda, the little superhero agenda and the little ninja agenda. Now these are newer than the Dino but I kept putting the Dino in my basket, forgetting about them, going back and they were out of stock. This time they were in stock at the same time at the new of the new releases so I had to get all of them naturally. So I bought the coordinating dies. I don't always do this, but I'm trying to get into the habit of buying the coordinating dies with my stamps because it's a lot easier. It's a lot less time consuming. And also I used to use my scan and cut, but that's getting very unreliable lately. My cardstock is not sticking despite using extra uh, glue. So I'm a at a little bit of a loss as to what to do there, but for the time being, and a new habit I'm trying to get into, as I say, is buying the dies alongside. And I think you get a neater effect. I prefer the rounder edge that you get with the um, the coordinating dies. So that's those. And they were from Dies to Die For. One of my favourites. Then we have these. Again, these were from dies to die for so you've got three packs here from pink fresh studio all sentiments fantastic variety of sentiments the thank you comes with the coordinating dies we have things like be true to who you are be as kind to yourself as you are to everyone else the journey you're on is worth the highs and lows and then from this one we have things like grateful for your service which is really apt for the times that we're in at the moment um what else do we have thank you with all my heart thank you for your support and kindness i absolutely love a great sentiment stamp i think it sells the card um and yeah when i saw these i couldn't resist i don't know if there is dies to match the be true to who you are it looks like it warrants a die but i don't know if there's one available or if it just wasn't in stock at the time that i purchased it so i need to go back and have a look for that but yeah love sentiments next up again we have some more sentiments now these were from seven hill crafts and we have some sentiments from neat and tangled some from alton new there was some more of these but they were out of stock at the time so i need to go back and get those excuse me we have a, a stencil from six by six stencil from sugar peas sugar pea designs which i'm hoping would make a fantastic uh background using maybe just a word a big bold word sentiment on the front i don't know and from Altenew, this burlap texture die which um again i think would be nice white on white with maybe a critter on the front again we'll play around with that and see but Again, I had to wait for that one to come back in stock and I was quite excited about that one. So we've got some more sentiments and we've got some lots to play with there. And then we have from Dies to Die For this Wonky Dots stencil. Again, I'm hoping to do a rainbowy background perhaps with a bold sentiment on the front and these again i've been waiting for a long time for these to come back in stock eventually they come back in stock snap them up couldn't wait to snap these up from pretty pretty pink posh uh coordinating die and stamp set and then i think last but not least some more now I call these Copics, Copics, whatever you like to call them, but 
whenever an occasion comes around, such as Mother's Day, birthday, Christmas, these are my always ask for items. Um, it's not something I like buying myself. Um, and so for Mother's Day, what we recently had here in the UK, my really lovely boys bought me these as a present along with some of the stamps and dies that you've just seen so they went for the fluorescent colors which is that'll be interesting see how i can use those in my projects <laughs> so we have the fluorescent yellow fluorescent oh, fluorescent dull blue fluorescent yellow oh that one's fluorescent yellow orange sorry fluorescent yellow fluorescent pink this one's just clematis and iris fluorescent orange fluorescent dull violet cobalt blue and finally stratospheric blue so before I add them to my stash, I need to mark them off on my Sandy Allnock hex chart and then I can start using them in projects. So that's everything for this month. Oops, we have a runaway. Um, I'm hoping that you can join me again for next month's stash. I don't know what next month's stash will be like because, well, it depends on new releases as well. So thank you for joining me today and hopefully I'll see you again next month.